hi guys welcome back again so today i'm going to show you how to use count points in polygon so for instance somebody asked you such a question how many points for instance they can be polling stations street lights nodes hospitals dams police stations structures traffic count, count points are in the specific region or county or province it, that means in numbers how many are they so this is a good question so as a gs user the answer actually using QJS is using by count points in Polygon. I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the video to the end. So getting back to my QJS now, for my case, I have structures. These are bridges and this is in Tanzania. So I have bridges. I don't know how many bridges are in region Tabora. I don't know how many bridges are in Geita, how many bridges are in Ruvuma, how many bridges are in Morogoro, how many bridges are in Lindi. So I'm going to show you in a very simple method using count point in Polygon on how to use it in QJS. So there are two methods you can use by select by location, but that is very tedious. So for my case, I'll use count points in Polygon. First things first, you need to first to select your layer, which is this one. For my case, structure survey. Open that with table. We need to know how many points, I mean, in general, how many are they? So for my case here, they are like 2000, okay? 2000 in numbers. You can look here at the serial number, they are 2000. So I want to group them. How many, maybe are in Ringa, how many are in Ruvuma, how many are in Dar es Salaam? So first things first, after selecting, that means you need to go to the vector, then analysis tool, you see, vector analysis tool, then count points in polygon. This is where the trick is. So you click count points to polygon, then just simple like that, you just need to select which polygon, the polygon is all zone bricks, and the points structure survey. You can always go detail, go for the weighting, which field should be weighted, the class field, the count field name, so I can change it. The, so the points should be like numbers, okay? okay? Then the count, where to save it can be in your computer or somewhere in the catch memory. So for my case, I leave it by default to create a temporary layer. Then pressing a run button. Wow, bingo. So it selects all the points in the, for the, all the structure survey points in those particular regions. So upon clicking the attribute table now, for the database search of, so I have regions, with respect to the numbers. So I can always sort them out like this. You see, they're sorted out. Dar es Salaam as 13, Ruvuma as 464. So you can also have a cross check like a proving. What I'll do, I'll just select, I'll control copy, open my Excel, I'll try to paste them here. Okay, so upon pasting, I'll delete these unnecessaries, this, this, this column and leave everything like this. Yeah, just like that. So I have, you can always now, you have now, these are all sorted. So the Dar es Salaam has few numbers of structures compared to Ruvuma, maybe few many structures or polling stations or points or street lights. So you can always cross check by doing the summation here, then pressing enter. We have two thousand. So that means the the sum, summation of all those structures have been retained to two thousand. See like that, two thousand has been retained. So you can have a look here now. So we have two thousand. That means. The rest has 13, Lindy has 84, Arusha has 108, Gate has 131, Room has 464. So you can now, using this count point in Polygon QJS, you can report to a client or to your top boss that this is it. These are the number of structures or the number of points or the number of polling stations or the number of nodes, the number of hospitals in the provinces or the county. So this is the way of doing it. Very simple and easy. So make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you a lot.